Hey guys, um, today I wanted to uh, just show you guys if there's any performance difference if I switch over from category 8 cables from category 5E or 6 and so I do have right now as you see I just got my uh, AT&T fiber uh, I got 1000 so it says thousand down, thousand up, but here's the modem router, and here's their box for the fiber line down there. And see these connections down here. That um, these are either there's no number of them, so I can't identify them, or without opening them, I can't tell. But either these are five E category five cables, or they're uh, a category six. And so I have my line, which is also the same cable, going all the way to my router. I currently have the 7900 Netgear, which is kind of out of date for my standards. I am going to get an Asus AX11000 soon, so it's coming in a week. And I will do a video uh, on the difference of speed on that once I get it. But the purpose today is I just want to see if there's any difference in uh switching to category eight cables these are the ones i got from amazon uh so got a two pack and a one pack and we'll see what kind of performance we're getting i will be running tests prior to my installation so you guys can see the difference so what we're gonna do now is um i did a hard wire as you see straight these are kind of that's a category 5 e wire hooked up to the router and then the router is hooked up to the modem and we will see and see what kind of speeds we're getting as you see that it is pretty solid and hooked up straight to the router and then we're going to try a different one we'll do the fast it's really quick all right and so i'll show more information here so they're pretty good return download and upload speed with a good latency plug this out and then so this is this is the router and i'm next to wireless router and see what we get Okay, as you see, the only difference, uh, I mean, it's pretty still good. It's just the latency itself is not as um, as low, but that's good enough. So now let's run the fast one. Wow. So the difference is we're getting faster download speeds here, but latency itself is what's the problem when you go um, through to wireless. So okay so that's the result for uh using um category 5 category 6 cables now we're going to go and switch over to the category 8 and see what we get as you see these are the old cables that were connected i think these are six but well, i'm not quite sure but they're this is what was provided by at and and that was a 5e and here's my new cables that i am going to transfer over as you see, I've already changed it directly there. And the other line is going up to the router. And then I have my external one coming to the computer so we can make that test. Now we're testing. Uh, we have all the wires connected. And as you see, this is the. I'm, I'm going to run a test here for um, my router line with category 8 cables all the way through.
Okay, not bad either, but I didn't see much improvement from what I had before. So let's try fast now. So, the data, well, five milliseconds, that's a lot better. So it seems like data download is not much more, but it uh, seems the latency itself has improved. Um, so upload and download wouldn't matter as much. So now, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and test. So let's just stop this. Oops. Let's go back to here. Okay, so I'm gonna remove wire and let's connect to my router connected let's run this up <laughs> I don't think I'm getting a lot of latency improvement All right, so one more test here. Let's move over to fast. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Wow, 9 milliseconds at 760, that's pretty quite impressive. Well, 11 milliseconds. So, I'm not sure why I'm getting higher download speeds on wireless than uh, uh, directly connecting to the router Ethernet connection. Alright guys, the last test I want to do is, um, outside of this router, it's pretty old, so maybe there's limitations to that. But... I'm going to go and connect it directly to the actual router hub that AT&T provides and I have two lines with the two cables one with the red I think this is the provided cable and then I have my dedicated uh, category 8 cable here so we'll first install this and this Wow, that latency is really nice. And download speed. So apparently my router has issues. It's an old router, so it's not transferring the most of the speed over. So and latency. So there, that's the result. <coughs> and let's run this fast. The result all right the last test we're gonna do we're gonna take this cable they provided and install the category eight cable directly and see what kind of performance we're gonna get Seems like the download's a little higher, um, but oops. And then let's try this one, last one.
Wow. Well, I'm not sure if that's right, but if that's the case, wow. All right, well, seven milliseconds, not bad, whether it's six or seven. But wow, 1.8 gigabits, but we can test that again. I'm not quite sure that is a true. Okay, that's the test. This is direct line, but the the main has also. So these are just what's coming out of um, from directly to the router. So they're impressive speeds. Um, two weeks. I probably will post uh, upgrading this Nighthawk to my ASUS AX 1100, and we could do the same test and see what the performance on getting a router like that. So I'm sure that that's gonna have a much more improvement so I don't know why the Ethernet is running slower than the Wi-Fi on here don't know why but anyway hopefully it helps you guys make decisions and uh, alright see you guys later bye